This is the shocking picture that emerged from South Lake's Safari Zoo. An emaciated kangaroo, penguins apparently left with little water and a meerkat with dry and damaged skin. The photos formed part of the case against its owner David Gill, whose application for a new licence was today refused. Zoo inspectors went there in January and put together a startling report. A dead monkey found rotting behind a radiator, a jaguar which had to be put down after chewing its own paw, three animals run over by the on-site road train, a giraffe which died after slipping on unsuitable flooring, and animals living in deplorable conditions with vermin and faeces. For years, the zoo's been beset by problems. In 1997, a rhino had to be shot dead after escaping from its enclosure, and in 2013, a keeper, Sarah McClay, was mauled to death by a Sumatran tiger. Her partner was at today's hearing. It's not a joyous occasion by any way, shape or form, but what it is is a satisfactory and appropriate response to the evidence that's been given to them. The zoo is under new management but still owned by David Gill. His lawyer said during the hearing he's trying to sell it, but today couldn't be reached for comment. Mr Gill has 28 days to appeal the council's decision or the zoo could close. The fate of the animals is still unclear. There was a, a zoo in Yorkshire called Knaresborough that closed. They were talking of a much smaller number of animals. Ultimately, at the end of that, as I, as I recall, about 300 animals were rehomed and I think four were euthanized under the uh, supervision and with the uh, authority of the RSPCA. Another charity which gave evidence in the Cumbria case told us it's one of the worst they've seen, but that they also have concerns at other zoos around the UK and are carrying out investigations. Olivia Kinsley, Five News.